So we just introduced the bus converter. Uh, we just told you all about it yesterday, and it's just been questions, orders, the whole nine yards. So we wanted to get something together real quick for you guys, just to give you an idea how to use it. So we've got the 32 ounce converter. Uh, the directions are all on the back of it, uh, step by step, pretty darn simple. It's a single component, so there's no mixing part A and part B. It's going to come ready to go. It'll be packaged for shipping with the heat induction label on it, so you'll just have to peel this off when you're ready to go. So a couple important things to note on it. You do not want to dip your brush or your roller or whatever into the bottle of product. Uh, the reason being is once you start picking up this rust on your brush and you put it inside the product, it's gonna to begin to activate. And once it's gonna activate, you know, it's gonna to begin to harden. So it'll stay in its liquid form up until it starts to get introduced to rust and metal. Um, and then it'll start to convert over. So make sure that you have a, a little extra bucket to actually put it in. A little bit goes a really long way, so it's not going to take a whole lot of product. Uh, and then, of course, we got a wire wheel. Uh, so basically, all we want to do is just, you know, you can, if Ben zooms in here, you can see, right, loose, flaking rust. Of course, this is a barbecue uh, pit, you know, here. Uh, hopefully, later on this week, we're going to do the back of a truck frame, really, as kind of the training video for it. Uh, but for now, you know, it's good. <clears throat> the product you also want to wear gloves so the gloves you know are going to protect you this is a strong acid right so the way that it's converting uh, this is ferrous oxide we're going to convert it over to iron oxide uh, and that's going to be through uh, using an acid and then there's a resin on top of it so uh, the resin in this formula uh, is the same resin you know that not only we use in the industrial side of things but also um, it, it's kind of uh, a unique resin and this is the same stuff that um, uh, canons that come out of the ocean it's the same resin that goes on them uh, and a little bit of a similar formula so uh, anyhow without too much further ado step one is we're gonna wire wheel the stuff off of here right so any active rust and you'll see when we actually apply the product right it's gonna go on white and then as it converts, it's gonna turn over to black. So anywhere where we already have this existing black paint, it's okay to go over it. So instead of it turning black when it dries, cause it's not in contact with any metal, uh, it's rather in contact with the paint, it's just gonna dry clear and it'll just have a clear resin on top of it. So we'll just wire brush. So our goal here is just to get all the loose flaking stuff off of it. So now we rub our hand on it, now we just have a little rust dust. So you want to blow it off if you can. If you don't have air and you can't blow it off, uh, you know, at least try to wipe it off so that you just don't have the dust sitting on top of your project. So. Um, <clears throat> the other step that's on the instructions is, of course, this is a grill, uh, so it hasn't been exposed to road salt or anything like that. Uh, but step one, if you don't, or if you're in a vehicle or you're doing a truck or uh, stuff that's by the ocean, uh, like a lot of our boat guys, you do want to wash the surface first with salt gone in water. Wash it and rinse it because we want to get all those chlorides off of the surface. We want to get the salt off of the surface before we wire wheel it. So we don't want to impregnate it any more than it already is. So we first want to treat it and rinse it with salt gone uh, before we do that. So now that we uh, wire wheeled our little piece of project here, we'll throw on our gloves. You 
Yeah, thank you guys. It's been amazing. We just started telling people about it yesterday, and holy smokes, you guys just ordered up a storm. Pretty awesome. open up the top now this was already shaken uh, but if it wasn't shaken and you were just taking it off of a shelf you know just give it a good little shake before we do it we do want it to be mixed you don't need to hit it with a paint stirrer or anything like that uh, it's gonna stay uh, ready to go with just a, a little bit of a shake so since we're not doing a huge you know area we're just gonna put a little bit of product in here Keep in mind, you won't be able to reuse it, so there's no need. Don't empty your whole uh, 32 ounces or gallon jug in there if you're not going to use it. Um, and after that, really what we're looking to do is we want to work it into the metal. So it's working by penetrating into the steel. So where we have the pits of rust, right, we can brush it on, but really we want to work it in there. And you can see right now it's this milky white color and globbing it on isn't going to do you any better man look at the rust just falling off of this thing and we just want to work it into those pits And as we do the rest, we're gonna to start to see it converting over. And you'll also be able to see on the areas that were already black and just fine, uh, it's just gonna have a little bit of a gloss look to it. You'll just see the, the resin of the coating. Now you can roll this on if you wanted to, you can spray it on if you need to. Uh, you know, if you're doing bigger areas. And really you can see there's just a nice, <clears throat> every crank, crack and crevice, you know, of course this is a uh, checkerboard metal. So it's got a lot of peaks and valleys to it already. But if you guys can see just how water thin this is, and this is just a cheap Home Depot throwaway dollar brush, uh, nothing fancy required, but it's super thin. And so that's where it's going quite so far. Uh, we put down that you should be able to do at least 220 square feet uh, with a gallon of product. So for most people, if you're doing trucks, cars, those types of things, you got plenty of um, opportunity on there. So like we said, we're not looking to necessarily glob it on here. <clears throat> it really just needs a little bit in order to penetrate that metal and start to do its thing. Uh, so here, <clears throat> we'll leave the camera rolling for a few minutes and we're actually gonna see, right, you know, it goes on white and you're gonna see it start to turn black. Uh, usually it's gonna be dry to the touch and black uh, within about 30 minutes or so. Um, it'll start to turn more quickly uh, than that, but it'll really lose any type of tackiness after 30 minutes. Uh, it'll be fully cured after 24 hours, uh, so the resin will fully harden at that point. And there's absolutely nothing to do to it. Um, and once it dries, you'll have the opportunity to see how it looks. 
Uh, so if you want to top coat it, so underneath a truck or a vehicle, uh, most people don't care, right? They just want the coating on there. They want to stop the active rust, uh, which is what the product is going to do. Uh, if you do want to put a top coat on top of it, you know, uh, if you're doing a, a dump body or, um, you know, something that you want the color to match, uh, this will act as a primer for you. Uh, so one of the unique things about it is the ability to be able to coat right on top of it. Uh, so in the industrial world, uh, sometimes this would be used for just spot repairs. Uh, other times it would be, you know, applied as a primer, essentially to be able to go over the rust and stop everybody from having to uh, sandblast everything first. Uh, <clears throat> so with a little aid, you can start to see here as it's drying where we have the rust. It's starting to turn black, almost literally right in front of your eyes here. <clears throat> Some of these spots are cool. You can kind of see where the old paint was and kind of where the new paint was. <clears throat> you do want to wire wheel these if you can. This, right, this rust is on here super, super tight, so we can just brush it on. If you don't have the opportunity to do any type of surface prep, uh, if it's really tight rust, you'll be in a lot better shape than you will if it's loose and flaking rust like we had over there. Um, if it's loose and flaking, you absolutely have to get it off uh, one way or another. So not exactly sure how long the camera's been rolling, but obviously this is that dark black color that we're talking about. And at this point, what it's done chemically is it's taken the ferrous oxide, which is this orange rust that we don't like, and it's converting it over to iron oxide, uh, which is essentially back to, uh, back to metal. And that's where it gets its hardness, its durability, um, 100% good to ride underneath a truck where it's going to get hit with rocks and road debris. Um, you know, so this is really, we understand that a lot of you guys already have rust issues on your vehicles. Not every product or not every truck or vehicle or boat or what have you not that you're putting salts gone on is brand new. Uh, we get that. So this is really the corrective measure. It gives you the opportunity to stop any type of active corrosion. Uh, and then you can prevent the future corrosion uh, the way that you can do it. See what the underside of this thing looks like. Hey, are you able to zoom in under here, Ben? get up under so when we're talking about loose and flaking rust this is the stuff that's absolutely gotta gotta come off but i'll hit this here real quick with the wire wheel as well Hit it with a little air. And remember it is super thin. So if you're working underneath, don't get too much on your brush or roller. Uh, it will drip down on you.
And again, you'll see how I'm really working it into the surface. And making a little bit of a mess. So we'll give that spot a couple minutes as well. You guys can check out what the results of that are. This guy is still drying up top here. How long has the camera been going, Ben? So instantly, you know, once we put it up today, <clears throat> we are getting phone calls. Hey, can we do gallon jugs? Uh, so, you know, we started packaging in gallons today. We'll try to get those up on the website later today as well. The 32 ounce bottles, you know, uh, they started shipping out today. Um, kind of by, by quick and popular request. Uh, so you guys will start getting those uh, in the uh, FedEx here before too long. Uh, of course, give us a call with any questions. You know, we're real people. We're here. 832-242-1147 uh, uh, is our number uh, anytime. But right on saltscon.com, just on that Buy Now, the collections page, you'll see it on here. And we'll be doing a lot more with the rust converter here coming up. Uh, <clears throat> like I said, later this week or next week, hopefully, uh, we'll be doing a pickup truck frame where we can be a little bit more in-depth. Um, and not just quite such a quick throw together. Uh, but obviously you guys were in a hurry to stop your uh, rust in its track. So uh, we tried to get it out to you as quick as possible here. Um, but now you can really start to see as this continues to dry. It's been about 16 minutes. Okay, so this has been about 16 minutes, um, you know, from when we first started the video. So this has probably been about, you know, 14 minutes on here or so uh, and you can start to see it is getting nice and dry and we're no longer tacky to the touch so once you see that nice conversion which is what we've got here you've got a nice really hard resin it'll fully cure uh, like we said within 24 hours but it would be road worthy you could take it somewhere and do anything you need to do with it at this point um, <clears throat> there's really no need to apply a second coat uh, but if you do miss some spots uh, and you have some overlap, you know, if you came and you found out, oh man, you know, I, I just didn't get it here or there. Um, you know, you can certainly overlap the product, but it's not something that you're going to benefit from multiple coats <clears throat> in the same place from. It really needs to be in contact with the corrosion, with the oxidation uh, in order to have its, its optimum effect. But... Uh, thank you guys for checking it out. Uh, we'll try to keep giving you guys some more great information, and we appreciate y'all's business.